Today we're going to talk a little bit about when to add salt to a water softener. We get this question all the time when we're installing. The salt is the detergent, if you will, that cleans the resin beads that are in this tank. So you have to have the proper amount of salt mixing with water to make a strong enough brine solution, similar to seawater, if you will, to clean the resin beads. So inside the salt tank, we use a grid system and a float system. So the grid will hold the salt off the floor and I think it's important to have that in there because of impurities that will sink to the bottom and everything else. The, the false floor or the grid holds it up and supports the salt. The other thing that we do is we make our brine tanks dry. A lot of people have wet brine tanks, we call them dry brine tanks, so the night that the unit regenerates, it's going to put a prescribed amount of water in to dissolve enough sodium, but then when it goes through its cleaning cycle, it's going to suck all that water out, so it's a dry brine tank during the week or in between regenerations. The other thing is, is you have to have enough salt, like I mentioned, to cover the salt, uh, enough water to cover the salt. So we put a label on the brine well that will give you a hint of when you should add. But about a third full or better is what we recommend for our customers. Thank you.